Canada's image throughout the world is tightly bound to our natural resources, our vast, diverse wilderness and animal species. Yet more than 80% of our population lives in cities that dot a ribbon of land along our southern border. Toronto, Montreal, Vancouver, Ottawa, Calgary and Edmonton combined are home to 14 million people. Living day to day, surrounded by the urban environment's distractions, it's easy to forget how entwined our lives are with the natural world beyond its fringes. To remind us, the United Nations has named 2010 the International Year of Biodiversity. In 2002, world leaders agreed to slash the rate of biodiversity loss by this year, but we already know that target won't be met. Species and ecosystems are disappearing at an unsustainable rate. However, our lives and our economies depend on biological diversity. Recent disasters have impressed this message freshly in our minds. The massive BP oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico has put Louisiana's fishermen and shrimpers out of work, some say for the next five to seven years, and the spill's ecological costs remain unknown. The destruction of honeybee populations, which has swept North America since 2006, remains a mystery that threatens to decimate our crops, one third of which depend on bee pollination for survival. But what can we do to slow these losses? In the June issue of Canadian Geographic, we're focusing on biodiversity and what Canadians and their communities are doing to preserve it. Join us this month and celebrate the International Year of Biodiversity, because the more species we lose or endanger, the more profound the consequences for people and economies worldwide.